video. Mm -hmm. I am joined with Holly and, and Eva. <laughs> we are doing a girl talk today. We've done two of these, I think, before, and you guys really liked them and they did really well. So I thought we would do another one because our DMs are always filled with advice. Like a lot of you guys are quite young, so we always have advice on like going to school and boys and things like that. So we thought we would do another video for you guys and Pepper. It's just chilling. It's chilling and joining us. If you guys do enjoy the video, please be sure to smash a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to turn my post notification bell on so you don't miss any of the videos. I'm in my gym wear, by the way, guys. I'm about to go to the gym because um, Erin only told me about an hour ago that we were filming. Earlier to myself, right, I was like, you look all going to the gym. And I was like, oh, I really want to go out for dinner. And I was like, I haven't got any friends. <laughs> Holly's my only friend. And when she's oh, busy, I don't have anyone to go out with. Follow us on Instagram. And without further ado, let's get into the video. How do you reject a boy in the nicest way possible? I think he'd appreciate it more if he was honest. If he was in the talking stage and then you just generally didn't feel it. Like, yeah. you're just like, oh, I'm not feeling this. As every girl says, oh, it's not you, it's me. Oh, like, God, it's not so you, cringe. it's me. Like, it's just not going to work out. But yeah. I guess that's if you're actually like, talking if you're just like a boy's interested in you but you're not in him i guess you've got to be honest to be like yeah. yeah i'm not really looking for anything at the minute like you just gotta be honest yeah because i think it's worse the more you carry it out like yeah. i remember when i was younger like i used to speak to boys and i knew i didn't like him and i knew they yeah. started to like me and then you you get too far and then you yeah. like it's awkward to tell them but yeah honesty is key i think so yeah just be honest things to do alone on valentine's day this is a good one because we've both been alone on valentine's day many of times i think like a pamper night yeah like a pamper night of what i used to do with mum and dad we used to like i don't know like just like watch the movie chilled i think there's such a big thing around valentine's day it's not really any different to any normal day so just no. do what you normally do many people have work many people still go to college until like four five it's just like a normal day really just do what you normally do don't have a massive pressure on what you can do yeah just or like else. spend it with like your other like girlfriends like go out for dinners yeah. and things yeah like go out with your friends like go and book a meal if you feel like because it's valentine's day you want to do something um go and do it and if you you know if it's an ex and you want to go out and you know forget about him go on a meal definitely like make yourself feel good as well like good old pamper night like yeah make yourself feel all fresh and stuff and yeah your hair that's and the best and make yourself feel good so any i think we've answered this before but any tips for periods at school just don't panic i think i started mine in school i can't really remember now i started mine at school but if, yeah it's so like natural and normal like it shouldn't be anything to feel embarrassed about just mm. always have a little bag on you in your school bag like a little like toiletry bag with all the bits you need just in case you do start when i went to school i used to always have like a spare pair of underwear some like wipes i also have like, obviously the period pads tampons mm. whatever you use like an emergency kit like yeah. just in case that was something i didn't do actually luckily my sister was at the same school really? so i remember i rang her and i was like oh like i, was, like, I remember i was crying because like you prepare for it but you don't yeah i rang my sister and she came and helped me but yeah definitely like just prepare yourself for it yeah it could happen at any point it's so random between yeah. like all different ages so definitely just be prepared best contraception you've used like i've mentioned this before and it is literally depends Depends on every different girl and like every different situation like some people love the pill some people hate it some people love like the coil some people hate it like it's so like you like it all depends on you i personally went on the pill and didn't like the pill so i came off the pill that's just my personal experience like i'm not gonna come on here and like rave about how bad the pill is because that's just my own experience but yeah i think if you're worried like speak to your doctor and find out like what's good for you also like most contraception you just have to like understand that you have side effects like like it's different for everyone but there's side effects for everything so yeah. as long as you like know that and are prepared for it then you can't really do anything wrong how to deal with or get out of a toxic friendship group i feel like everyone's mm -hmm. been through friendship groups that are toxic in school i went to an all-girls school so as you can imagine Mm, very gossipy, gossipy. <laughs> but holly went to a mixed school and you was friends with quite a lot of boys so yeah i mean if he was in a toxic friendship group oh god it's a hard one isn't it because the best way to long it out is just literally wait until you leave school and you're never gonna probably talk to them yeah. again i don't really know because i've never been through like a really bad toxic group i mean mm. you probably have your, your rows and everything but you kind of just slowly edge away yeah but it is awkward in school because you're in such a small environment that you're always going to see that see same them. person. But I just think like if they're genuinely making you really unhappy and they're like being horrible to you and stuff, then like you've got to do what makes you happy. Yeah. So like if they're making you unhappy, then 
come away from the friendship group like don't be scared of like being on your own like there's always yeah. other people you can become friends with there's actually what i found in school the actually people that you never thought you would ever talk to are actually the nicest like friendship group mm. back when i was in i think it was year 11 i spoke to a couple of friends that i literally never thought i would even be in a group with and we was like so close and it was just so different to what I was used to, but I liked it. Yeah. So, but I wouldn't worry too much. Like I said this to Holly when she left school, because I realized when I left school, like you think you're gonna be friends with everyone when you leave and you don't, like you come away with like one or two friends. So yeah. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Boyfriend doesn't post pictures of us on social media. Should I be worried? Mm. I'm not gonna lie. Like I used to think this of Brandon, but I think boys just like, they don't think about things like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I don't think it's a worry. Some people want relationships private whether that's mm. what he what you'd want or not yeah but some yeah some boys just generally i wouldn't look at everyone else what you can imagine is you look at other people and go oh why is he yeah, posting his compare. girlfriend you, you never that? know if that boyfriend's girlfriend is making, making him, him do post that. that yeah so when you see things like always the same boy always like posting his girlfriend you you just you know don't ever look at your boyfriend and be like oh why aren't you doing that to me it sometimes yeah. it's nice was that but then it is nice every now and again for them to show that they're in a relationship yeah. and that's like showing you I off. think it's so hard nowadays to not compare yourself to everyone else online like yeah. I literally used to do it I used to look at other people online and be like oh they always post about their boyfriend or like yeah. they always say nice things about their girlfriend I'm like, like not everything has to be online like yeah I wouldn't be worried yeah I, I, don't, I don't think you should be worried I wouldn't be worried about it best product for dry and frizzy hair do you have dry hair? 10 in 1 miracle spray by Beauty Works. Works that's a good one also like any oil like an argan oil Moroccan oil Oil. It's always when I put it on wet and dry and it makes your hair like not frizzy at all. Um, I use, I don't know if this is relevant, but the Eco Gel from Superdrug is really good to get everything back. And I'm still to try the got to be gel yeah. and for your eyebrows. <laughs> but yeah, the 10, 10 in 1 Miracle Spray from Beauty Works, Beauty Works is really good. I use that every time I curl my hair. It has like loads of different things. It's like heat protectant, shine spray, Reduce eliminates frizz. frizz. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got like loads of things in it. It's really good for your hair, so I'll definitely look into getting the 10, 10 in one Beauty Works spray. I don't even know about shampoo and conditioner because I only use the Beauty Works one, but oh, I use Olaplex. Olaplex is amazing, but isn't yeah. it just for like damaged hair though, isn't it? When I got my hair balayage, so with colour in it, she recommended me to use Olaplex. Obviously, it's on the pricier side, but literally everyone approves of it. You've never used it, have you? No, only because I have extensions yeah. and it's for like damaged hair like if i didn't have my hair extensions in like well, 100% the I'd different use it. numbers are like corresponding to different things of your hair but to mm. be honest i just use number four five yeah, six shampoo seven, yeah. yeah like, the like i just use any of them and the smallest amount of it goes such a long way so i do think that's maybe why it's on the most expensive side yeah because they're not massive bottles for what they are but TikTok shop, you can always get discounts on them mm. and things like that. They are always, they are always somehow on discount. But yeah, I love Olaplex, my fave. Pads or tampons? Pads. Personal preference, but pads. I've, only because I've never used a tampon, I just don't feel the need to. I think if you're changing your pads regularly, then there's no issue. Yeah, I don't get along with the tampons. I don't like the feeling we've of them. All, yeah, we've tried tampons. No. Yours, I don't think you did properly, babe. That's why... Yeah. It was uncomfortable. No, I did definitely do it properly. You were saying that you were like, oh my god, it's so painful. I was like, it should not be painful. No, I didn't like it. So, just pads for me. Pads are the best things. Try both and then... See what you prefer. See what you prefer. Everyone about. prefers different things. Yeah, personal preference. How do you become fitter if you already do a lot of things but you don't eat healthy? So, you're thing. fit and you're doing exercise but you don't eat healthy. I think that's all you can do. To be fair, I've always had a mindset if I'm going to the gym, say... I don't know, four times a week. I mean, I, I tend to cut out takeaways, so McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, Subway, as much as I can, but I can still eat, like, meals at home. What you want. Like, fajitas, anything like that, just random cooking dinners. Like, I'm not yeah. going to sit down and just have, like, salmon and broccoli. Still eat what you want, because you're limiting. doing the exercise. Yeah. So, I don't know. If that's not working for you, that you're exercising, but still eating okay, I mean, it is hard to exercise and then go and eat a McDonald's after, because it's just, like, wasted yeah fitness i've never been one to x like i don't like the gym and like that's fine like i don't like the gym i don't like running i don't like well, i don't mind walking i eat like not very good but like when i do want to start trying to eat better like i just try and cut out all takeaways so i can still like make whatever meals i want at home and yeah. like eat what i want and go out for meals but like that's what i do like i don't ever restrict myself from going out for a meal if we go out for a roast if we go out for steak if we go out for chicken you know nando's i like, never restrict myself yeah 
But what I do try and cut out is like we've both gone off McDonald's so much, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, li literally. I don't know why. We're just trying to be like, well, I'm trying to be healthier, but like in the time frame of me not eating it, mm. I can't imagine like eating it now. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to try the chicken Big Mac, but then I think it's gone now. What? Well, I won't be trying it then. Also, like, just drinking lots of water as well. Like, even, like, yeah. like how just much... Just see my bottle of water that yeah. I got today. Like, how much fizzy drink do I drink? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, she I drink, drink more water. so much fizzy She's drink. She's saying to drink more water. This girl never drinks water. I know, I know. But they asked for the advice. I didn't. Yeah, true. <laughs> I drink so much fizzy drink. It is, and it's not good. It's really not good. What age do you think you'll be ready to have children? I want to know what you think. I'll probably be 24, 25. I don't think you're ever ready for children. I think late 30, no, late 20s, or like in between, so like 25, I wouldn't go earlier than that. I mean, how old are you now? I'm about to be 22 next month. Yes, yeah, see, I think still you've got such a long time to still, go out. <laughs> still, I think you've still got like so much time on your hands. But then how old is Brandon? He's turning 24. 24. Yeah, but I feel like if I was in your position, I would, like where COVID has literally been a pain in the bum, you haven't I been able like to I feel like I'm two years behind. Yeah, you haven't been able to go and do the things that you could do normally. So maybe you yeah. would be ready for children now in That's the position, the but you're not. But now I've got Indy, my niece, like she makes me so broody, mm. like so broody. But like Brandon, like he's still a kid, like mm -hmm. in his own mind, like, He's still a kid, and like he's I love that about him. Or nearly. But like, and I'm still a kid. Like we still do like immature things all the time. But, like yeah. obviously, if I had kids, like I would have to grow up and get on with it. I don't think you're ever gonna be ready. Like I feel like in your own mind, you'll know if you're ready. But I feel like you don't know what having kids is like until you've had kids. Yeah, like it, it's a lot of hard work. Like you say that when you had a dog, but a baby's ten times harder, and you yeah. have to go through labour. Like you've got to be mentally prepared to I do know, that as and well. We are not mentally prepared for that. Absolutely not. I wish I could tell you, yeah, I'm gonna have kids next year, but I literally can't because I just don't know. Yeah. I literally just don't know, but it's not gonna be soon because I am just 21 still. Like it's crazy. Yeah. How bad is periods? I've never had one before. What are they like? I mean, everyone's literally different. My auntie has zero pain. Just obviously he bleeds no pain whatsoever me i have pain on the first day my first ever day is the worst i'm not gonna lie i'm i've tried some tablets now that have really helped fenomix fenomix is that the right word feminax feminax they've really helped hot water bottles hot baths but everyone is different you suffer quite badly on the first day it just comes over me like i'll be absolutely fine and then like the next 20 minutes, I'm like, I need to go home. Like, I'm, it's coming on. Like, I, I can just know. Yeah. And then I'm in absolute agony yeah. for, like, two days. Sometimes but I'm But everyone's lucky. different, though. Like, we're not going to say it to scare you, but everyone yeah. does react differently. And, like, each period is different as well. Like, one month, like, I could have the worst period of my life. And then the next yeah. month, like, I could be like, oh, like, I've not even got any pain. Like, it's yeah. just so bad. There's like, no pain, by the way probably halfway through your period for anyone would there be yeah. i don't think there would no, be no the worst you're gonna get is like just cramping in your stomach yeah and your back yeah Holly not... doesn't get her back I no get her. i don't really get my back but not to be tim white but your lady area does not hurt whatsoever that's not where the pain is it's just yeah. literally just your belly or your back I it's, be it's nothing to be scared of anyway like i don't dread it every month. I'm like oh like it's coming like i'm scared like it's, it's not like no, that i don't get scared but i'm like oh there is gonna like i don't really like being on my period yeah. it's a bit annoying and there's things you can do to help it so but yeah if you've never had one before don't be scared of it like you know what's coming like just be prepared and you'll be yeah. absolutely fine let me choose one okay also guys quickly while holly's choosing a question i currently have a giveaway on my instagram i'll pop it here so you can see it um it's a giveaway with sunkiss i'm giving away a year's worth of tan and a 250 pound prime voucher so head over to my instagram and make sure you comment and follow me and follow all the rules and you'll be in with the chance of winning it's such a good giveaway so yeah make sure you head over to my instagram and enter that as it's a really good one but yeah this is quite um an out there question but i think this could be ben beneficial because i think i would have liked to have heard this when i was young okay. when do you think it's too young to lose your virginity like where does the where does the well the legal age is 16 isn't it yeah i just think like just wait like wait until it's the right person like and there's no pressure on it like i was 18 it's nothing to be embarrassed about like no. it's your own body and like you just got to trust that person that you're with and i think if it's going to take you longer to do that then yeah, that's that's what you should do. Like, I don't. Like, I feel like now it's such a pressure thing. Like when you're with someone, that that's all the man will like the boy or the man that would want. But yeah. don't ever bow down. Bow down for no one if you don't want to do it. And obviously, you just need to tell them no. Never be scared to say no. Anyway, guys. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to smash a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on. So you don't miss any of the videos. 
follow us on instagram and we will see you guys we will <laughs> i will Mwah. and i'll see you guys with a brand new video on wednesday at 6 p.m bye